So I know I get on people when they say or do dumb shit on here. And uh, Larry recently, you know, I was making fun of him for the OnlyFans and all that stuff. But this time he puts up a video and it made a lot of sense. And he says good things that I think people can learn from. And I'll be the first person to give credit to somebody, you know, when they're doing something that I think is good. And um, this video that he made talking about Trend Balone, it hit home for me because it affected my life greatly. And uh, I know that my story can help people too. So we're going to watch this together and then I'm going to comment on it as we go along. Because I'm telling you, this thing is a personal thing. It's really personal for me talking about this stuff. Normally, I don't like to talk about this stuff. But I know my story can help people, so I'm willing to talk about it. So let's see what Larry's got to say. And and I'm sorry, Pete Rubbish, too. Part about everything but with your programming and your peaking is more important than like just trying to um, let the drugs carry you all the way. And, you know, I try and get it with the bare minimum, you know. I try to do it with the bare minimum. But this trend has just, besides gas and the Atlantic, all the other sides of the trend brings like the mood swings and the insomnia and the acne. Like, there's a nightmare to deal with it. Like, is it even worth the small extra strength gain it'll give you over something like a D ball, a T ball, or, you know, or decorate the post? Is it even worth it? But it's, it is a nightmare to deal with this. So 100% nightmare. It. <laughs> my, my wife, like, this was, this was like four years ago. She's like banned me from it. She's like, no more trend. It makes you crazy. Cause it legit. Oh, it like, makes you feel crazy. The mind games are insane. I feel like I'm psychotic. Like I turn into crazy person, aggressive. Oh yeah. Um, paranoid. Like super. It's it's so bad for me. So it got me. Like nothing got me as strong as that did. But I just couldn't handle it much longer. And all right. So but before I uh, play the rest of it, when you say make you fucking crazy, I'm gonna tell you guys a story in a little bit. Because listen, man, I'm a nice guy. In, you know, in real life, I, I love people. You know, I love talking to people. I'm always, um, you know, even keeled. Don't let things bother me. But this thing, when I tell you what it did to me, all right, you're going to know never to touch this shit. And it's not worth it, like they're saying. Here, watch. I don't know. But I, I pushed some crazy cycles. And I feel like, too, what you were saying, like, as we got older, as we get older, it's we kind of tone it back. We're like, okay, we got to find a balance between health and, and performance. So you kind of you kind of scale back from the younger days where it's like crazy stuff. See, when you're younger, right? You think, you know, you're invincible, nothing could stop you, nothing's going to affect you, but you don't realize things, you know, and sometimes you have to experience things and then later on in life you look back and you're like, why the hell did I even do it? But, you know, there's a good and bad to everything, right? My story that I'm going to tell you, right, I learned from it, made me a better person in the end, but sometimes you don't realize that as you're going through it as a younger person. Exactly, and then when you're young, you know you can get away because everyone tells you, See? all your peers are like, oh, you're young, don't worry about uh -huh. it, like you're supposed to be healthy and everything. But you're totally right. I'm on that same page with, okay, I'm going to be 30 soon and I need to dial things back and I want to have kids, you know, soon. You know, I don't want to be 35, 40 trying to have kids. Um, I don't even know if I'm fertile enough to have kids. I have to deal with that as well to figure that out. Yeah, since uh, 16 so, has been you know, doing shit. Life hits you, you know, it comes fast. And there are definitely consequences to running this kind of stuff for so long. I mean, I'm on it. I'm on PDs for 10 years straight, right? <clears throat> and, uh, the worst of them has definitely been trying. I mean, on all the other PDs, my mental health is okay. I'm not paranoid or I'm not, you know, irritable or aggressive, overly aggressive, you know. So it's just that one, it's just trying to just, just makes life living hell. It just makes everything, everything gets to me on track. So I, I haven't used it in a while for that reason. Or orals for that matter. You know, I say to just test. I'm going to stop it there. I'm going to tell you guys, you know, you see what he's saying, how it made him crazy. And um, I'm going to tell you guys, you know, you know, I've been dating women, you know, obviously my whole life since I was, uh, I think I was like 19, 20 when I dated my, I had my first girlfriend. And I've always been a loyal guy, never cheated on nobody, don't have the heart to cheat on nobody, knows that, knowing that karma comes to get you, you do bad to people. I've always been that person. And when I was like in my 30s, early 30s, I started experimenting with uh, different types of steroids and Mostly it was very, you know, I experimented. It's not something that I would do, you know, for a long period of time. It usually was just testosterone. So I'm going to skip over and let you guys know what the trend did to me. So I was 32, 33 years old, right? And I had met this girl who I felt was the most beautiful girl in the world in my eyes. You know, it was my dream girl, uh, her personality, the way she looked, the way she carried herself, uh, the way she took care of me and I took care of her, you know, obviously the way I, I feel like I should take care of a girl. And uh, we were together for about a year. And uh, it was during the time when I was experimenting 
with different steroids. And I had gotten uh, on trend, and I was doing 50 milligrams every other day, and I think it was a two-month period. I did it twice in my life. I didn't learn a lesson. I should have learned it the first time. And um, long story short, uh, talking about being loyal, right? That was the only time and first time that I wasn't loyal to a girl. And uh, long story short, she found out, and uh, I lost her. And, and it was tough because, like, she erased me from the face of the earth. I'm talking deleting my phone number, changing her number, uh, changing her address. I couldn't find her. And that was the only girl that I've met in my entire life that I felt like I could marry. And till now, I haven't found that girl. And it's a hard lesson for me to learn. And the reason why I'm saying that is because I couldn't keep it in my pants. The temptations that trend caused me to have were things that I never experienced before. And I remember, you know, and I'm not proud about this stuff. You know, I remember going to the gym and it was during that time. Um, and my friend would walk up to me. He's, he's like, hey, John, you know, all three girls are in here right now. You need to get the hell out. And uh, scared the hell out of me. I, mean, I had uncomfortable situations in the gym because all the girls that I was talking to at the same time. And the thing is, that's not me. That's not my character. And it was never me. And I couldn't understand it. I couldn't understand what it was doing to me. But it wasn't until she left um, that I realized that what it had done to my brain. And you would think I would stop and would have learned my lesson, but I didn't. And I did it again. And I end up getting a ton of fights, you know, in the gym. I ended up in jail twice as a result. And uh, I'll never forget this one day. This is the day that I stopped doing it. I went to the post office, drop off packages. You guys know the post office always packed, it's pain in the ass. And I always drove like classic cars, you know, and I would never want them dented. So I was an asshole. I parked in handicap parking and you're not supposed to do it, but I did it. And some guy comes out and he's like, hey, you know, you shouldn't be parking in handicap uh, parking. And long story short, I ended up getting in a fight. And I could have killed the guy. And um, when that happened, and I went to jail, um, when I was sitting in that fucking cell, let me tell you something, man. I thought about my whole life. I thought about losing that girl. Thought about all the fights that were going on and realizing that wasn't me. That was never me. What's going on with me? That was the last day I ever touched this shit. And after that, I got rid of everything. I ended up just taking testosterone all these years and... You know, looking back on it, you know, if I can say one thing's good about the situation is losing that girl, okay, made me realize, made me a better person because even though I wasn't that type of person in the past, now I treasure things. If I meet a girl now and I have a, a great relationship or I, I have somebody in my life that I really care about, I don't do things to fuck that up. And especially not when it comes to a substance like that, that I know for a fact changed me. Put me in jail, cost me thousands of dollars in lawyers, okay? Losing the girl of my life, if that didn't wake me up, then I would have been a failure in life. So I liked what Larry had to say in this uh, video, Paul uh, Rubbish had to say. And I think it's a lesson for people and for the younger people to watch, you know, hearing my story too. I mean, look, I'm, I'm older now and I still haven't found that girl. So she's always in my mind, you know, and I never spoke to her ever since. She would, she, She's scared of me. She hates me. And uh, losing her jail, money. And I can, I can completely say it was completely from that substance because I'm not that person. And it did that to me. And if it was going to do that to me as a, as, a nor as a normal, a calm guy, imagine what it does to somebody that's not. So good video, Larry. And I hope you guys can learn from him. And from the things that I had to say. And I'm sorry for getting personal, but watching this video today um, made me want to make this and give you guys the message because I know it can help you guys.